Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my spring home decor tour. So I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to start in my living room this time. Usually I start in my kitchen. Nothing much has changed since my last little home update. Well, a few things. So um, if you want to see my spring home decor tour, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start behind my front door. This is the front door. And to the left, well actually to the right when you first come in, I have a lot of people ask me about this planter. I got it at Target last year, but I saw that they do have it this year. Um, so I just put some of these succulents, or whatever they're called, um, from Hobby Lobby in there. And then that high sign is from Hobby Lobby too. And then on the other side of the door, you guys have seen this area a lot. It looks pretty much the same since the last time I showed you. If you saw, it's, it was in one of my last videos. I always have these, um, clipboards up here with pictures of us. I do have to get a picture of our new dog, um, Nala, to put up there. And then up top I have some of my old books and two of my corbels that I got. And then over here in this little corner I have this hanging basket and I just stuck some of my little carrots in there. So this is right to the right when you walk into the house. Um, we don't use the front door but when guests come in this is how they come in. I have my laundry basket, um, but I use it for blankets, obviously. I have a ton of blankets. I need to stop buying blankets, but I love this one. Every day I'm snuggling, it says. I got that around Christmas or like Thanksgiving. And I'm sorry, the dogs, they just have to be in every video. Here's my baby Winnie. So above the couch, I have this shelf that you guys always see. Um, I put some of my books and these two... Bunnies. I believe I got these last year at Walmart. I know they have like bigger ones at the Target dollar spot this year and they probably have them again at Walmart. And then I have three of my old clocks up there. I love clocks. It's one of the things that I collect. I collect way too many things. <laughs> There's Nala. She's getting big. She loves to sit right here and she'll fall asleep and start snoring looking out the window. Then over here on my favorite little table I have this terrarium. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I put some candles in there and I put some terracotta pots and then there's another terracotta pot back there. It's bigger. That one's from Hobby Lobby. Little plant in there. And then I just have my arch thing in the back with my gigantic chalkboard that's always there and there's that piece of vintage um, trim that I like. So that is next to my couch and then if you go this way it's my ugly tv blah 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 <laughs> this um thing i get questions about a lot it's it's a buffet it's made for a dining room but i obviously use it for my tv it came like a dark dark brown color and i painted it and then i took the middle drawer out um so we could put our sound system in there so i i think i got it at a second hand store and it was like 60 bucks it was a while ago now. So to the left of the TV, I still have my old door that I love. And no wreath on it because I didn't want to put, you know, too many faux flowers. I like only so many. Um, I put my trio of crocs down next to my fireplace. And then I have my old dough bowl. And then here's my fireplace. You guys, this is what it looks like for spring. It's not too crazy, just really simple. I have another old corbel there, this terracotta pot, and then I have a little egg. Um, I don't remember where I got this. It just says Easter on it, a bunch of like different spring sayings. Another one of those succulents from Hobby Lobby. And then I showed this in a haul, my little bunny, two, uh, three more old books. And then I got this, I showed this too, in a haul from Hobby Lobby. It was half off. I, I think it was like 20 bucks and I love the color. That's like my favorite color to decorate with for spring. And then I have some more carrots and more pots. And then I just put, I use these um, flowers that I got at Walmart last year in these containers. So I just added the lamb's ear and the other stick in the back and I think they came out pretty cute. It's kind of like painting me to use pink. <laughs> but I like these flowers a lot. I think they look really nice. So 
when you first walk into the living room from the dining room, I have this little sewing table. I use it as a side table. Um, and then just some pillows and blankets, the usual. My coffee table's back. I told you guys that last time I brought it back home. I can't find one that I like, so I decided not to sell her. And then I have this pedestal. I have two of those actually, but I don't have anything on this right now. This is as good as my house is going to get showing you guys wise because I've just been like not feeling it. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, I try to keep it really simple this year, not too crazy. And a side note, a lot of people might think that my house is cluttered, but I don't think that way. And um, I'm obviously going to do my house the way I love it. So I got, a, you know, like two comments saying something about my kitchen, about how I'm not able to cook because there's so much stuff on my counters. Like, really? Do you cook my food? <laughs> I don't even know if I can cook. Like, come on. But anyways, I like my house the way it is, just like I'm sure you like your house the way it is. So I just wanted to add that little side note in. I don't really care what anyone thinks. I just show you guys because... Um, I like sharing my home decor and I like seeing other people's so let's just try to keep this a positive like if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all okay let's here go. is my church pew I still have my card catalog underneath some pillows someone asked me where I got these pillows I got the four white ones and the inserts from Ikea this one I don't I have no idea where I got that and I have a blanket with pom-poms and then up here these are from, I want to say Michael's, yeah, I got them at Michael's on clearance. I think it was after uh, Thanksgiving. They're not vintage, they're just obviously replica. And then I have a plant on top of two books. I still have my little boxwood wreath there from Christmas because I think it's cute. It could be used for spring or whatever. Um, an old frame and then I have this silhouette of Madison. We got that at Magic Kingdom on Main Street. So then to the right, I still have that little shelf there and my husband's great-great-grandmother's, oh no, it might be great-grandmother's little table. I don't know, I haven't done anything to it. And then it's just a lamp because it's kind of hard to open this door so I can't put much there. And then that metal sign I showed you guys in a haul, that was supposed to be for outside, but it kept falling. So I just brought it in, it's from Home Goods. And that's what I have in this corner. So I will just show you a quick overview of my living room. We do live in a kind of open concept bottom floor. Um, so there's not, you know, maybe that's why people say my stuff looks cluttered because all of the rooms kind of flow, but whatevs, I like it. All right, so now we're into the dining room. The dining room, pretty simple this year in my opinion. That is, I still have my um, sign up there, gather here with grateful hearts. I think you can use that all year round. I have my um, scale and then a little cotton wreath. And then I put those for, I had those on my um, place, for my place settings for Christmas, but I put them up there. I still have this vintage bureau in here. It's my fa one of my favorite pieces in my house. I do love to decorate with real vintage um, antique furniture so you kind of see that a lot in my house and this is the dining room if you follow me on Instagram you probably already saw these play settings these are from Michaels I got them again after Thanksgiving I think on oh, like was really like 70% off or something and then I just put a carrot in each one and then someone asked me well a few people asked me where these napkins are from they're actually um, like utility towels. They're really thick and I got them from a woman that I work with, like I bought them off of her. So I'm sorry, you can't run out and get them, but I've seen, um, you know, similar ones at Hobby Lobby and Home Goods. And I still have my antique um, chicken feeder in there in the middle with a bunch of brass candlesticks that I thrifted. And only some of them have the candles in it because I like some of them, you know, without them. And then over in the corner, I still have all of my iron stone. I have two um, vintage antique chairs that I use for extra seating. They just fold up. 
and then all my iron stone still looks the same and my ivory box is up there. So I'm gonna turn around and show you the other side of my dining room. Here is the other side of the dining room. Um, here are those theater seats that I got off of OfferUp. Um, I love them. They're seriously awesome. So all of these pillows, they're all inserts. I have to get covers, so I just use them like that. Those are all from Ikea. And the blanket is from HomeGoods. It's actually one of those beach blankets. Um, and then I showed this quickly in one of my other videos, but we'll go over it again because this is the official tour. I just filled my chicken nester with a bunch of like springy things. Like I said, I love decorating with that color glass. So you'll see that quite a few times. I put some old clocks in there. I have some ironstone dishes in the back that I thrifted. A lot of this stuff is thrifted. Most of it is all thrifted. So we have more blue bottles, some more terracotta, and then down here, some ball jars, and you're gonna hear my dog because he wants to go outside, of course. Um, I absolutely love these. Like, I just love how they drape. So I use them a lot throughout my house. Another old clock, and a little, I like that little scoop in the terracotta pot, so. And I still have my gather sign up on top of it. So I love the way this looks. Again, not necessary at all, but I love decor and putting things together. So this really makes me happy. And then my bathroom's right there. You can see little tulips, but my bathroom's a hot mess. So we're not gonna go in there. And I have that antique uh, mirror that I showed you guys. And um, we just have our Disney countdown on there. Madison just put it there. And right here, that's my ironstone cabinet. Right here, going into the kitchen, is over here. That's another whole mess. But um, right before you go in, there's this little hanging basket, and I stuck more of my cotton and carrots in there. So that's just hanging there. And that is my dining room. So this is a really quick overview of my kitchen. It's a really hot mess, guys. So that's, we moved our computer down here for my husband's business. So I just put my, um, like chicken wire frame there and I hung the cotton wreath. There's nothing on these shelves over to the right that I always show you. And then um, here are my glasses. I showed you guys that glass rack. I have some old spoons and then um, that's my neighbor's house. <laughs> I got this flower. My friend got me that flower for after I had surgery and it's beautiful. Um, I just have some blue bottles. I usually keep my dishwasher pods in there but I'm out so I need to get more. And then I have just this stuff on my counter, nothing too springy. That's ugly, but I use it every day, so it's functional. And then everything looks the same. I have little eucalyptus back there. And that's pretty much it for my kitchen. I just have this basket with this pretty blue glass again, and then the eucalyptus. I got the eucalyptus from Hobby Lobby. And they are always out of it, so I was very excited that they actually had it in stock for once. Okay guys, that is my 2017, nope, that is my 2018 spring home decor tour. I know it was quick, but I try to keep things a little more simple this year, simple in my opinion. Um, also, I put out on Instagram, I'm going to be doing a, uh, filming a Q&A, so if you have any questions, anything you've ever wanted to ask me, leave it down in the comments below and I will try to answer it in my Q&A video. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <music>